What else? I need some more disastrous words. How do I delete this? All right, let's do this, shall we? Now don't be scared. Things may happen. should have never touched this. I wish none of this had ever happened. I'm sorry for all of this. I need a different t-shirt, yeah. Anyway, how about that daily goal, huh? Oh, I thought it was done. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. I feel like it's only the shirt, really, that's a problem. If only there was a simple solution for it. Okay. Whoa! Bad Benny and 80 Artie. This is gonna be sick. Winky face! Go, Allah. Finally. Why everybody bans Anubarak? Because Anubarak is the ice block. Of, of Heroes of the Storm. Wait, why can't I pick... I heed the voice of Elun. You got it. I'll play Taronda. Yeah, Anubrak is the flame strike, the, the the blizzard, the frost nova and the ice block all together in one of Heroes of the Storm. He's the myriad of bugs in Oblivion. He's um He's the tick on your dog. He's the first big Nova. No, he's the last big Nova when you needed support. I don't have a dog. Uh, he's sitting down at the, at the toilet and then five minutes later you realize there's no toilet paper and you're the only one at home. And you don't have a bidet. I thank you. I'm struggling with new tyrants. What's your take on her? Uh, let's see. That's why we're playing Taronda Mask 8891. Uh, thanks for the donation. Appreciate it, man. He's like uh, 10,000 spoons when all you need is the support. <laughs> I thank you. I want a magical shirt too. <laughs> uh, so I, I can give you a tutorial on how to get one. Shrimp Swarm. Shrimp Swarm or Shrimps Warm? Capital letter gives it away. Thank you very much I for the $10. You. What is that little box at the bottom of your cam screen? And do you have a set this of one? It's, uh, it's not little, it's like the size of my head, you see? Of my jaw. Uh, it's a microphone, uh, ROG Magnus microphone. And do I have a setup to a video available? Unfortunately not. Thank you very much, JBit. Meadows the Panda said he would just get up and have a shower if he's alone, but the question is how do you get to the shower without, you know, Clenching and spreading. A 
light the light abandoned the, the snowman. So we have a. There's a <laughs> we have a lack of um, uh, tank. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try under. <laughs> What's it called when you try her for the first time? Try wonder. My favorite alien Comedian impressionist. Strength. Thanks, Ewok. My favorite alien impressionist. What's your top five? Who's your top five? A Park, Ring, Divine Storm, right. Horrify, yes. Horrify uh, combination. Are you ready? Go down is the key. More time. You can make a us always prepared. touch the wombo. All right, so uh, distance increases the damage. Not so good on this map. It's small. Lunar Blaze is pretty good. Blazing in ten them should be pretty easy on this map because you meet a lot. Uh, this is for repeated uh, focus fires on a single target, but that's very difficult when they have Diablo Uther and Diva. So it's definitely Lunar Blaze here that's the right way to go. That means I need to hit as many times as I can. The damage is uncapped. Also, W has a repeatable quest, reduction of mana and extra. So you basically need to use yes. Taranda non-stop with Sentinels. That means you run out of mana pretty fast, but you get some out of it too. Oh, I really misjudged that one. I thank you. Uh, tapping at this time is really bad. I really thought that he should go back, that he would go back, but he did not. <laughs> the goddess's wrath descends. Uh, I am very open-minded still about whether to run the rework has succeeded or not. The main thing that I'm curious about is, is it not an issue that you need to consistently hit people with your owl? rather than using it as vision is that not an issue forcing people to use it in such a manner this is in my opinion the main issue because i want to hit my owls at melee all the time that's not how toronto used to play you know you used to have you used to all the time scout with it the goddess blesses your hand. Oh, how did I gain movement speed? Hunter's mark? No. Oh, oh Brightman gave it to me. Now, everything else I'm open minded about, but this one I think, like, okay, that really changed her play style. Oh, well, let's see how it works out. Let's not over, uh, over worry about it. In the meantime, I'll just try to get all my quests. Let us make haste. Yeah, you can still scout, but oh, it's not it's really not the same, you know? Like the Shoot emphasis the now is on hitting it, because you need to start that quest ASAP so that you can start hitting multiple targets. Do they have a lot of stuns? Yes, basically. Uh, spell armor is good too against Jaina Gul'dan. Light of Loon gives spell armor. Or remove a stun and heal again for free. Let's practice the stun removal. It's it's the more interesting one, even though I think spell power is amazing here. My eyes upon you. And also it works on yourself. That spell armor stays for six seconds, so you yourself become a whole lot safer. I think it's the right choice, Calderai resistance. Masterful. Ah, I did it too early. I had a chance there to do great. Instead? 
by a loon. By a loon. The goddess calls. Oh. I'm out of mana. That's uh that's not so strange. As Taronda. Of course it gets better and better. In the name of Elune. So they killed Pilot for good. Nice. This is Team League. Team League rank. Our ally falters. That is not acceptable. As the goddess wills. <laughs> Brightwing heals are huge! So I ran out of mana, but I didn't port, and now I'm still low mana during the objective. Let this be a cautionary tale to port when you still can, even if there's uh, XP on the map. Ah, Illidan, you force my hand. Yes, of course. In paces. Uh, one more heal and then I'm going. <laughs> now I'm really out. Hearth at 90%. Yeah, in quick match. <laughs> Definitely. Choose a talent. Darnassian Archery Hunter makes basic attacks flash. Oh! Against targets. That's nice for wave clear. Damage aura. Auto attack damage aura. Pretty nice for Illidan. I'll get true shots for now. It's an activatable and it's a passive. That's nice. Interesting. Uh, do I pierce yet? Oh yes, I pierce once. Anytime you don't have time to pan to your allies. You can still look at the portraits here, which I don't do nearly enough. To see if they are dropping low in HP. And that will help you to know if they need help. If they need healing. So be it. Just look here. You can even see when they're getting poisoned. It gives a lot of info. Stealth and movement speed for myself. Or Starfall. I get Starfall. I'm not looking to fully experiment YOLO builds. I'm actually looking to... Uh, choose the, re the right build for the situation. Since it's ranked. Hey, thank you very much. True Shield Aura is turned on. Thank you, Boostalik. He never moves how I think he will. This guy. When I feel like he should be running, he doesn't. So I, I keep like anticipating lunar flares. That never come to fruition. Frozen fire, thank you. Ah, uh, skit. My pleasure. A uh, pretty long cooldown on True Shot. That's uh, kind of unexpected. Uh, I should have stunned. I should have healed during a stun, I mean. And I should have saved this one on the gate. Masterful. 
Oh! Ah, oh, nice. I walked into the ring of frost just in time. Greetings, friend. One more to see here. Time flies when you're having fun, less than three. Ah, that's for sure. I. <laughs> oh. Aspera, Simon. One more month and we've got two years. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And always nice meeting you. You going to Gamescom this year? Does she have a giant killer? I don't think so. No, I mean, she's still a support, right? Light of Elune increases target's movement speed. Will you stream SC remastered when it launches? Tons Network, thank you very much for your sub and your uh, donation. Really appreciate it. I uh, I will definitely stream that when it comes out. I don't know the exact schedule or the amount. But I will. Always use your ult. How many stunts do I have? 18. Okay, okay. So now I have a sentinel that slows and reduces damage dealt. That's nice. By the way, our lead is not that great. Double whammy! You've served your high lord well enough. Is Steve any good? Yeah. Does she feel like a bruiser better than Sonya or Tannis? Uh, I don't know about comparing those. She's definitely a bruiser. And she's definitely different. She's the most mobile bruiser. In a way. Well done. I can say a lot about her. I don't know if I can compare it to Sonya per se. Uh, we should be protecting. Uh, we should be protecting the gems. We protected some of them, I think. The goddess blesses your hand here. Yes, of course. Is Diva charge OP? I mean, hit the nitrous seems a little bit over the top. Yeah, I would take it every time. Mark of mending, high health, extra healing. Jonas basic attack heals them. I get high health, extra healing. Wow, nice crit heal. So how many? I got. Three pierces now. Totally sad, I don't know. Rapidly diminishing at the moment. Let us make haste. Meet your end. I thank you. What? Hey, oh, Alarok! Oh. Jump back 
ready, wanted to kiddo. get those juicy gems, but it was definitely not a good idea. Do you think unkept quests are a good thing? Uh, the all right. The idea for it is that you can continue to endeavor to hit your skill shots in the best way possible. The argument against it is distracted focus. Now, why would you do distracted focus unless you mis-evaluated their worth? Maybe you value quest over winning the game. There's plenty of situations in games where people have the wrong priority and lose because of it. And that is considered being not a good game player or not playing the game well. And if you do understand whether it's the best value to use something for a quest or to use something for winning the game, then you are a good games player. So, but there's an argument against that as well. And I realize I'm not being very decisive, but there is many aspects to it. And I am not quite sure yet what I think about it. The argument for uh, not allowing that, allowing people to make their own wrong calls of unbridled quest taking, is that you'd like to make people do the right thing oh, I hate that guy. you'd like to have people play the right way automatically for their own good and pros will distinguish themselves anyway i mean there's a lot of context mm. and i'm not playing very well while i'm talking things that are difficult to me and also the question is what is the maximum amount of quest stacks that you could get even in a long game because in essence no one ever reaches level 30 so level progression is also uncapped the only question is ever in fact are you outperforming your quest speed or underperforming it in essance Osmodan's taste for blood might as well be uncapped as well Hey, where did he go? Double whammy. My web How did that make sense? Gems if you wish to be spared. He was pretty healthy. Why did he get one shot and I did not? So let's see. The fact that I can infinitely hit Lunar Flare. You know, let us make haste. as you could see, I didn't have my opinion ready when you asked. But thinking about it, I don't think it's an issue. You hit more, you get better. Better players are rewarded. I think that's fine. Basic attacks periodically cast Lunar Flare. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Let's just try it. Hey, we should push with it. Cool down.
Killing spray. A big tuna kuna. And we're losing our bottom key. We're losing our bottom keep, guys. Why did you turn around? We just needed to disengage Heads our hearthstone. Our fort's been trashed. Now I'll show them. We were nearly back. Killing spray is over. Uh, shooting star is really bad. It takes too long to happen. Isn't even guaranteed hit. Let's see how every tenth basic. That's a random hero. Okay. Well, I guess it can't be guaranteed to hit unless it's instant. Hey, the enemy is attacking our core. All right. Let's defend. Goddess, grant me strength. Oh, man, we've lost a fort. How many peers I have? Five peers already. So be it. Yeah, that, that was a shooting star. Oh my god, I got 100. That's I really needed some help there. That's the cool thing about Diablo with that quest. You can 100 to 0 squish. Still a good fight for us. See, he just did it to Brightwing. Let's look at that. 500, 500, 500. I mean, I got 3k, 3.6k, so it's not exactly 100 but I feel like this is inaccurate, this post screen. screen. What does the owl quest do? Let's see. More and more mana cost reduction. And more peers. And that's it. So I don't know why it's still counting the hero's hit. Because after 40, there's no more gain. Got no time for gains. To the battlefield, quickly. You can see the quest bar on when the star may fall. Quest bar. Oh yeah, cool. In the name of Elu. So be. Bigger numbers is fun. Mana cost reduction, but I already have no mana. Oh, still a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess you could pierce like more than five as well. We should we should stop the pay, but anyway, they need five turns. though <laughs> for core
All right, Diablo's coming back though. As the goddess wills. The goddess's wrath descends. Now they know we're here. I falters. That is not acceptable. Yes, of course. We took it so slow though. Your enemy is oh shit, they paid. My power. Prepare yourselves. They will surely feel this one. Uh oh. Well In this case, boss will do what boss does, and we need to fight before they get the whole thing. Alright, let's defend this. So what is my uh, shooting star doing? Is it doing well? We didn't get any damage, but we did get the keep. I mean, no core damage. It seems to be doing very well in team fights. That's nice. You don't AA enough? Well, I'm trying to stay away from Diablo. I've uh, I've ignored all the AA talents because I'm against Diablo and he's just gonna blow me up. But obviously, <laughs> this one uh, I thought it could be quite nice, more lunar flare since I have it buffed, and it doesn't say untalented version either. Um. I guess it's fine because he's got demonic form anyway. We need to defend this. They could be all in on our core. Still gotta go. Oh. With haste. I was wanting to one shot him, but I would have needed to put this at exactly nine and then get a double whammy. Oh, nearly. Yes, of course. Double whammy. Meet your end. The web weavers fall. Ding. We didn't get a keep out yes. of that. I can pure seven heroes now. And my lunar flare does how much damage? How much is it doing? <laughs> a, lot, 
<laughs> Enough. <laughs> Double whammy. Victory. <laughs> MVP. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, actually, I think Illidan played really well too. I don't know who our random duo was, but they didn't play like randoms. Uh, how much damage did that one do? Did anyone see how much it does? Look at that XP! I'll show all the builds. First, damage sheet. This is very impressive. 108,000 damage in a game like this. Around 1500? Wait, 55 stacks, 3%. Oh my god. 15, 1600? Oh, <laughs> one Lunar Flare, 1600 damage. Okay. Alright, so this is the damages. Even Murky, 99,000. Uh, so Murky went for Egg Hunt, Slime Slime, Rejuve Slime, and Big Tuna. This is basically my build. Sometimes I go ma making Inky. My build. <laughs> oh, nice. Wham, bam. Alright, let's check this out. <laughs> All right, fourteen thirty-four on the Ablo, but he has Soul Shield. Ah, hey, it did seven damage less on Jaina than on the Ablo. <laughs> oh, maybe she got some armor from uh, Uther. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Sixteen, yeah, sixteen less. <laughs> okay. Um Yeah, and, and and so my build was Lunar Blaze Celestial Attunement. Now I don't know how much I really got out of this. The spell armor would have done a lot, but I really wanted to practice this. Uh, True Shot Aura for Illidan, bonus auto attack damage, and Murky too. Starfall, because I didn't want to focus too much on stealth and auto attacks for myself. Sentinel is Shrink Ray, basically. And then more healing. And then Lunar Flares from auto attacks. Now, I didn't really see how much they were doing. But I think it was probably pretty cool. You guys said it was impactful. You're on a nice try. Enemies of the light, beware. 